Hi everyone, Watcher here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. And today I am unboxing and reviewing the Swamp Industries SU600 condenser USB microphone and audio interface because it's got built-in USB connection and headphone output. So hope you stick around. So quickly Let's open it up and find out what's inside the box. Okay, so that's what comes in the box. We have the microphone and looks like a standard condenser microphone. And that's what it looks like. Okay, at the front we can see we've got two knobs. We have a gain knob and then we have the headphone knob. So I guess gain, you can control the microphone's gain uh, physically. And then the headphone level here as well and it's got a headphone socket. And it also has 10 dB pad, which is quite handy if you are recording loud um, sounds. And then it's got low low cut so that'd be nice to remove any rumble or noise or low frequency noise and you can actually see the capsule inside i'm not sure if you can see it in the camera but yeah it's all in there so there's no foam well i guess you have to use some sort of pop filter because there's no foam to stop it or anything okay and it comes with uh, USB cable and it comes with a tripod okay so you can have it sitting on the desk if you are doing you know podcasting or uh, commentary for your YouTube videos or you know if you're playing games and this is the holder for it which is okay but we've got something better here we have a shock mount so you don't really need to use this one because uh, this will do a much better job for sure okay there's a few things uh, you need to watch out for okay and this is the shock mount and it's a unique shock mount because it's got that front bit cut which is specially designed for the microphone because the microphone has got the knobs at the front so that's where you can quite easily access those and this is uh, suspended rubber suspended which is yep which is really great and i think it also comes with a couple of spare rubbers inside the rubber rings there we go there's two of them so in case any of them break you have a spare one <laughs> can't ask for more than that I uh, will see if I can find any instructions for it somewhere There's nothing at the bottom no instructions but I know that you can actually download the instruction and manual from Swamp Industries website so that's the Swamp Industries what was the model SU600 USB condenser microphone so let's plug it in and try it out and see how good it is and how it sounds so how does it actually physically feel it's got a weight to it it's quite heavy and I guess because it's made of metal everything is metal including the mesh and um, yeah so it's got the USB connection at, at the bottom instead of the XLR there's no XLR connection um, you've got the gain and the headphones feels smooth but they are a little bit fiddly so you, I guess you got to watch out uh, for them you need to be a little bit careful with them so they don't break as far as the toggle switches for the pad and the low cut they're just standard toggle switches yeah and then yeah that's about it so let's put it on the stand and see what it looks like okay I do have the shock mount 
on my stand and at the bottom there's the thread and underneath the actual stand is this sort of screw on option so you can put the microphone in and then the thread will just grab it and it gets mounted on the stand and now it's sitting on the stand okay I've got my headphone ready which I'm gonna plug directly into the microphone um, right there and I'm also going to be using the supplied USB lead now the USB lead basically plugs in at the bottom just like that it's quite easy and I've got my laptop going so I'm just going to plug into the laptop now according to the manual there shouldn't be any drivers required and the thing is already powered up because there's no power switch and the way I can tell that it's actually powered up because it's got nice blue light shining onto the capsule so you can actually see the capsule in there so let's hope it's all powered up and ready to go I've got the gain knobs turned down the headphones to turn down so let's plug my headphone in there and I'll let you know how it uh, actually sounds on the headphone but later on I will do some recording with the microphone and we'll find out how it actually sounds and I will actually put the actual recording from my DAW on the video so you can actually hear it as well so here we go just gonna turn the headphones up a little bit yeah and I can I can actually hear it now and if I turn the gain yes now the gain is increasing the microphone and the headphone is increasing the headphone uh, volume but even though if I have my gain all the way down the microphone still on so that's really good so if I've got loud sound I can still use it without turning the gain up but if I have a sensitive instrument that I need to record I guess I can always turn the gain of the microphone up it's nice and clear I can hear the room and the microphone is not making any noise yeah it, it's 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 really great it sounds good on my headphones and we'll find out to see if it sounds good on um, on the recording okay we are ready to go I've got my pop filter in front of it as well and I'm gonna just do a couple of phrases and see how it's gonna record I've got Cakewalk by BandLab on my laptop ready to go I've selected the ASIO for all driver and the SU600 is the device for it and I've got a track ready to go to record as a mono track I've got the microphone gain all the way down with no padding and no low cut so I'm just gonna hit record and then we're gonna listen to that and then I'm gonna put the padding on get a little bit louder because even now without the padding and this far away it's still quite sensitive I can actually see the um, uh, VU meter on cakewalk is actually going all the way to minus 6 dB so that's quite sensitive microphone so uh, it means if we turn the gain up it will pick up quite a lot which is um, impressive in that sense so let's give it a try without any further ado this is the first recording of Swamp SU600 USB condenser microphone with gain set to minimum with no padding and no low cut so now I'm gonna actually put the padding on and say something and then put the low cut and then try to speak with a lower um, register of my voice as, as deep as I can and then see how it actually will sound and record and we can hear the difference as well this is the second recording now I enabled the padding of minus 10 dB and now I have a low cut enabled as well I'm gonna increase the gain even with the padding on and it's getting quite loud now 
it's hitting the orange and nearly about to clip and that's not what I want and I'm not even halfway to the mic gain and that's with the padding as well. So while I've got the padding, I will try to scream as loud as I can with loud SPL level of volume. But I think the distortion is in the recording because in my headphones it's loud and clear without distortion. So what do I think of Swamp's SU600 condenser USB microphone? I think for the price, which is priced at $119 Australian at the time of this video, which is February 2019, it's a fantastic value. You don't need any audio interface or anything. Well, I got your laptop and the microphone, just plug it in, no drivers required, nothing else, it's straight in there, and you are getting, you know, 48 kilohertz at 24 bits. So that's quite high bit rate and sample rate is the average 48. You don't really want any more than that. You've got the headphone that you're plugging in there to listen to what you're recording. You've got a fantastic amount of gain for the microphone itself. You've got padding if it's something's too loud, hopefully not as loud as my shouting. Um, and then you've got the low cut as well. Everything built in there. I highly recommend it. If you are looking for a USB microphone and you don't want to get the trouble of getting an audio interface and then getting a microphone and trying to com do the combination there and you just want to get your songs out there have a better sound than just what you can get from your laptop or on your iPhone then um, this is probably something you could look at. I should mention I actually paid for this microphone it's not sponsored in any shape or form I ordered this yesterday morning and it arrived this morning and they are located in another state so the delivery time is less than 24 hours swamp industries as always as like in the past you've done a fantastic job in fulfilling my orders all the time less than 24 hours delivered in my studio now and i could actually test it so thank you so much for that now the other question you might be asking is that why did I actually buy this microphone um, and pay money for it? Well, I had the question come up now many times on one of my videos that I have shown how to actually record your vocals in Magic's Music Maker. I have demonstrated how to use it with an audio interface and a microphone. I demonstrated how to use it uh, using the laptop's built-in microphone or a headset that you plug into and of course they had to ask and say how do I make it work with a USB microphone well that is the reason why I bought it in my next video I'm gonna be using this microphone to demonstrate how to record vocals in Magic Music Maker so that is the reason so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell as well. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. See you next time.